Once again, we are talking about real estate, oh God, no. taking money out of a plan to buy real estate, and Christopher goes to pieces. The really first absolutely big thing you have to say is if you have a job and you're under age 59 and a half, <laughs> sorry, Charlie, you can't cash out your 401k plan. Right. You're going to have to quit your job. And I think that is not a really good... Um, good way to build your wealth. Okay, okay. Um, theory. <laughs> to, well, no, 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 it's quitting funny. your like, job is definitely not considered the number one best idea, best practice to build your wealth. Like, I'm agreeing with you. I, I'm just going to walk up to my employer and say, I'm cashing out. And you know, they're no, going to say, not. you are cashing out. That means you're cashing out of your job as well as your 401k plan. Right. Okay. Now, in theory, all right, you could be using this to diversify your portfolio. But if you're still working, the only the only money you can get out of your plan, all right, uh, without paying any taxes on it or any penalties on it, is a loan, and that maxes out at fifty thousand bucks. All right, we've got other we've got other videos about here um, about how we think uh, participant loan can be a very good idea uh, under the right circumstances. All right. Then the other thing is it's unpredictable. Uh, we're filming today uh, on a day. Um, you, you don't know what's going on in the market. You don't know what's going to go on with interest rates. Um, are they going to go up? Are they going to go down? Um, is the Fed going to raise the interest rates again? So how, how much more expensive is buying this house going to be? So really what you're doing when you take money out of your 401k plan to invest in real estate, investment real estate, you're, you're diversifying your tax strategy because you're not diversifying your portfolio. My 401k plan is probably buying 300 different stocks. Okay, because uh, I've picked one risk-based thing. Okay, um, if you're if you're not diversifying your portfolio because you're selling those 300 stocks and you're buying one asset. Okay, so if it's a duplex, maybe you want to call it two assets. All right, but it's still a single piece of real estate. So, are you really diversifying your portfolio? Okay, don't know. Uh, and we've that's an about interesting penalties. thing because people want to talk about it as being a savvy investment strategy, but really the people who are perhaps have uh, the ability to make this work for them are thinking of it as a tax strategy and they're very serious about knowing what happens with the tax consequences. Right. And if you know that, you'll know 10% no. haircut, haircut. I am never gonna say that the market is guaranteed. Okay, yes, it does go up and down, although you can buy things, especially these days, that have guaranteed interest rates. They're might be with or behind inflation, but they are definitely going to go up. You you don't get that in stocks. You don't get that in bonds. You don't well maybe bonds. You don't get that in stocks and mutual funds, and you sure as heck do not get that in real estate. Can we all please say 2008 and 2009? Okay, real estate can go down. I think you need to separate out your desire to own real estate and maybe own a home with your need to provide for your retirement. And when you put them together, you're mess you're you're muddling things up. And you're taking different desires and you're kind of weaving them together. And it's like you need your retirement. You really do and, need and your just, retirement. Just out of curiosity, um, what do people do if they own this? You know, if if they if they cash out their four hundred one k plan to buy real estate, when it is time to retire, what do they live off of? The rents. The rents. The okay. rents. Right. I think they're parents. And they're parents. <laughs> How much would you have had to have in your 401k plan to buy enough rental property to be able to live off of the rents without worrying about um, insurance, real estate taxes, non-paying tenants, empty, empty property, hurricanes, I mean, wildfires, varmints, plumbing, wildfires. electrical fires? I don't know. Oh, you live in California. You know, oh, weather's yeah, been the, pretty unpredictable. Well, <laughs> It Florida, everywhere else, I and mean, there's lots of lots of places that are that are underwater. Okay, um, maybe it, maybe for a different video, we'll do the math as to how much you need to take out of your 401k plan to be able to have to be able to buy enough real estate to generate enough income to live off of. I don't know. Yeah, yeah but that's going to require math, and I'm tired. Uh, very, Catherine. This is a binary question: yes or no. Should you cash out your 401k plan to buy real estate? No. Okay, good. Now that that's clear. All right. No. If you, please, I hope you found this video a little bit helpful. That, that, that isn't really investment advice. That's like oh god, no. That's <laughs> like your mom sitting on the couch giving you some advice. We I'm not your investment, investment professional. Advice. No, absolutely not. All right. Um, 
if you've liked this, hope you have, or at least find it slightly amusing, uh, go and watch our last video, The Tax-Free Retirement Plan is Raising Some Questions. Okay? Uh, and hopefully, you know, like, subscribe, all that other good stuff, and please, we'd love to continue this conversation with you. Absolutely. Bye-bye. Stay compliant, my friends. <laughs> <laughs>